Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Right, if you saw the last video I did, I'm doing a guitar build, a Bolt Guitars guitar build. Now, here is the finished body. And let me go and get the neck. And the finished neck. Now, I've done a couple of things slightly differently because I had some um, Monty's Monty Presso and finishing wax. Looks a bit like this. I've decided to uh, add some of this and the Monte Presso to the neck as well, just to give it a slightly darker, darker look. And I've also put a bit on the body as well, just to um, take the, it's quite a bright yellow I found. So I'll just put some of that on there. Now it's just a preference thing, but it looks, um, it looks great to me and it's just grabbed some of the grain as well. So really pleased with that. But you don't have to, you can just use, you know, just what you get with the, with the package. Right, so this is day two. What I'm gonna do is to finish the guitar today because I've done all the finishing of the neck. There were, I think, three three or four days of finishing. So you had to apply the uh, the finish and the, the oil and then leave it for 24 hours and then do it again, sand it down, do it again. So this is completely finished. The body's finished and the neck is finished. What we're gonna do today is to fit all the components of the guitar and then put the, the neck on the guitar, string it up, and we're all gonna be done. I'm hopefully gonna be able to do it in 15 to 20 minutes length of this video. I reckon it's gonna take me probably 10 hours to do, but let's get it done. So the first thing we need to do today is to fit the frills, I think they're called. This is the bit where the strings go into the body of the guitar. Now what we have to do with this, apparently, because I'm watching the video, I'm sounding like I'm some sort of expert. I'm in no means an expert at all. I'm just watching the video that Bulk Guitars send you to and uh, just following the instructions. So the frills go in. We've got the frills in there and I need to bang them into place. Now it says to use a hammer, but I've got a mallet as well and we'll see what's what's best. But I'm gonna cover it over like they did in the video. I don't think that's gonna work actually. I think it's got to be a hammer. They also say you can use a screwdriver end. Just bash them down. Now I'm not particularly fussed about dents and marks and all that sort of stuff. So I'm not gonna take massive care in this, but I guess you really could if you cover it over and to make sure you don't get any donks. But I actually think it's gonna be easier just with the end of my screwdriver here, just to bang them in. Okay, so I've just watched the next bit of the video. The next thing we need to do is to fit the, the bridge pickup and the, the brass saddles and all that sort of stuff. Now, it's quite simple, what you've got to do according to the video, is to feed the pickup wire through the hole and plunk it down. Now, uh, as you can see, everything is lined up and we've actually got screws or screw holes in the body to hold the bridge in place so we can start attaching those screws back. Now I'm guessing you've got to be fairly exact with this because everything needs to be dead straight. So I'm gonna try and get these in first. You guys don't need to see this, but you can see what I'm doing. I'm just winding in the screws. I'm gonna just fix the bridge on. Awesome. Right, next bet. Things are starting to get a bit more complicated. This is where things might go a bit wrong. So now we need to fit the tuning pegs and the frills to the, to the neck. Now, what we need to do is do some drilling actually into the neck, which is, for anyone that hasn't got drill, is not used to drilling, this might be the, the turn off bit. Now, personally, I feel they could have done that, so that would have been easier for you. All you had to do was literally just screw it in. But, you know, drilling's not that hard, as long as you don't go too far. Um, you've got to measure it. But what I'm gonna do anyway, I'm gonna get these frills in, and I've got to tape up the back of the neck, and I'm gonna drill a bunch of holes. I'm not gonna film all this because it's actually gonna be quite hard to film and do it at the same time. So I'm gonna come back once the tuning pegs are fitted to the neck. That took a little bit longer than I thought it would because I dropped screws, couldn't find the screws, so I spent half an hour looking for a screw. Anyway, the tuning pegs are in. they're not as straight as I'd like. And that's not Bolt Guitar's fault, that is my fault. 
I did everything they said, but it's still not straight. So um, if you do do this, it might be worth taking a bit more care than I did, but everything works. All the tuna pegs look straight from this angle and it looks more or less straight from the back anyway. Okay, so the next bit is to attach the neck to the body. So we have to fit the neck to the body, use some strings to keep it a straight edge. I'm gonna do all this actually, because I think this is quite an important part. Um, so the neck fits in the body, as you can see, fits pretty snug and tight. Now, the only thing we have to make sure, according to the video, is that everything is straight and the neck is straight because it's quite easy and you can feel there's a little bit of movement in there. So, it's getting to the, see it's getting to the point now where you can easily make quite a lot of mistakes. What we need to do is to fit our outer string, so our 10 and our 46. So your thick E string and your thin E string. So let's do that. As you can see here, what we want to try and check is that the string, according to the video, goes over the pole piece of the bridge pickup and is straight down the neck. Now, my neck there, just, God, you can see how easy it is just to move out. I don't know if you can see that on camera. <clears throat> there we go. I'm starting to get to this sort of stage where I'm, panicking a bit more because you can easily mess this up now. Well, it was quite fun sort of staining the body and, and you know, the neck, oiling the neck and all that, but now it's getting to the, the point where you could easily mess stuff up. But actually, that looks pretty straight to me. So now what we have to do is to flip it over and drill the holes for the neck. Okay. It's on. Looks pretty good. <sighs> okay, so the next bit is to fit the neck pickup to the body, well, to the scratch plate really, but the video sort of shows it. You have to fit the neck pickup to the body. It's not actually fitting, you actually put it in place and then try and get the scratch plate to take, obviously take the uh, the spring and the screw of the pickup. Okay, so let's put this stuff. By the way, I've got to say, <clears throat> don't do it in your studio, don't do this job in the studio because I'm making a right mess. For someone that likes his studio to be very clean and tidy, this is not, um, this is not working too well. Right, so what we need to do is put the springs there. We've got to feed, can you guys see this, you can see this. Uh, we've got to feed the neck pickup wire, oops, through here. By the way, if you do this, if you do buy one of these kits, please follow the instructions. Don't follow my instructions because you will definitely go wrong. Um, yeah, the instructions are quite clear on the video. Okay. Oh, shit. To the screw holes. Then put the scratch plate on. Gold. Oh. I can't believe that worked first time. I thought I was going to be faffing around with that for ages. Awesome. Okay, so pickups. All attached, not wired in obviously. Uh, next, on to the next job. 
Okay, so that's all attached. Next thing I've got to do is to drill holes to attach the scratch plate. So I've got a 2.5 mil bit. And then we attach the, uh, the screws that come in the kit for the pit guard to the body. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, and let's, um, let's come back in a minute because you guys do not need to see me do, do this. Okay, so the next thing that I've got to do is to, where's that gone? Here it is. Is to wire in the, uh, the control plate and the jack socket. Now, I'm definitely not going to be filming this because I'm going to be here for ages doing this because my soldering is shocking. So um, I will get that and um, I'll try, if I can, I'll try and show you guys what my soldering looks like, which should be funny um, after it's done. But I'm probably gonna need to concentrate on doing this. So I'll do this and then I'll come back once all of this is soldered in. Okay, so that didn't take as long as I thought it would. And my soldering is all right, actually. Um, so I've screwed everything in. Sorry I didn't show any of that because I mean, you guys could do a much better job, I'm sure, than I could. Made a slight error, I guess. This bit here isn't completely lined up, but um, you know, just something to be aware of if you do that sort of thing. But it's slightly off, but gives it a bit of character, so it's fine. I've wired in all of the, or soldered in all of the different parts. So uh, all I've got to do now is just connect the uh, the jack plate to the to the underneath of the body. They do make it really easy for you. And if you follow the instructions perfectly, I bet you could do a much better job than I could, but um, I'm pretty happy. Um, I guess what we need to do is to check to make sure the pickups are working. So I've got a lead. Now, I don't know if you're gonna hear the audio at all, but that works. All seems good. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna string it all up. I think I've damaged that string. That string's not gonna be usable now. Okay, the last thing we need to do, let me just adjust this camera, there we go. The last thing we need to do now, or the next thing I should say we need to do, is to put the string tree in. So, where's my little drill? Now I've marked out where it's gonna go, but um, we're gonna do it right there. There we go. And then again, use the string trees that came with the, with the kit. Now the string trees actually have a have a groove in them, so you can there it is. You just found the the point where it uh, it grips both the strings. Now I just plug it straight into the interface, but. So I'll tell you what I do, let me do this properly. Let me tidy up, um, plug in to my amplifier and we'll see how this thing sounds. 